So if you're receiving this video, it's because I wanna say a huge thank you for having my back with the recent defamation lawsuit that I had. And um, I wanna outline some of the plans for 2024 that are coming up. So when that happened, I had no idea how I was gonna get out of it, not a clue. And the fact that you guys had my back with that, the fact that you guys supported me financially in order to get through it, oh my God, like it, it meant the world to me. Um, remember, I'm 26, I lost my job in um, property due to the lockdowns, uh, like many of you guys, and I don't have a father around um, because he died due to the um, outcomes of the lockdown as well. And the idea that I found a new family that would have my back with a significant opponent like that, it meant the world to me. And it's, I've always had a drive to deliver results for you guys, but that one was a very big moment for me where it was like, oh, no, no, these people really do have your back. And I want to say thank you for that. Um, this video is also about outlining my plans for next year and some of the exciting things that I wanted to share with you guys, like you would share with your family. Um, so next year, I think we both know uh, it's gonna be a very crazy year. Misinformation, private property rights under threat from these Aboriginal laws. Um, you got the UN, the WHO proposing these new sort of treaties and laws. We've got um, obviously the banks tightening up funding. Um, and they're also tightening up uh, your financial freedom and options. This is going to be a crazy year and it's going to look a lot like 2020. Um, me personally, you guys know what I'm like. I'm a fighter and I like to plan. I like to get the tactics together, get a team together and launch a counteroffensive. And I'm not going to wait around like 2020. I am going to fight against this thing. We just recently won the voice referendum. We're over 60%. I reckon it was more like 65 to 70% of the country voted no, but many people didn't vote. And the people are with us, but they just lack leadership. They just lack direction. They just lack the know-how to achieve results. And they don't frankly have the time because they're so tied up with providing food, very expensive food for their children and their family. They're just trying to pay the rent. That's where I come in. You, as I've always said, and you've heard me say many times, I'm here to teach you who's punching you, why are they punching you, and how can you punch back? Now, 2024, it's gonna be a crazy year. And in order to launch a tangible offensive, we need to start getting serious, AKA I need to start getting serious because it's my job, in order to really push back I've been operating out of homes, guys, and that's not very serious when faced with a $100 million campaign from the yes side on The Voice. And when it comes to a lot of these conservative think tanks that I've seen in Australia, me personally, I mean, you might agree with this, maybe you don't agree with this, but I think they spend a lot of money and a lot of it is wasted. I think a lot of it is probably you didn't need to spend that much in order to achieve your goal. And they could probably have been a bit more efficient. Me personally, I, um, I have some plans. I have some plans for next year. I've, um, I was recently sick with tonsillitis, which is very personal for me to share. I got hospitalized. I almost died. I couldn't breathe at one point. It was very bad um, during the voice campaign, partly because of my own decisions. Um, I was working too hard. There's no other way to say it um, with on the voice. And um, I, I had a lot of time to think about who really has my back on a lot of things and what we need to do moving forward. And ultimately, of course, I landed with the conclusion that you guys are the only ones that have had my back. You share my videos, you, everything you see me wear you guys have supported me with. The clothes on my back, the food I eat, I wouldn't be here without you. And with my defamation lawsuit, you had my back. Even at the protest marches, you have my back when the police would try to come after me. So thank you. But moving forward, we need to be more proactive. We need a war room in order to plan our attack politically 
on um, the establishment, whether that's in elections, whether that's a tax on our financial freedom from the banks, whether it's the misinformation laws. And I don't trust anyone else to put a plan together and to, have a, to create the space to do that. I really don't trust anyone else to do that. I'd like to think that over the last few years, we've developed that relationship where when I say, watch out for this guy in politics, he voted this way, this way, this way, you guys tend to trust that. And moving forward, I want to have my own personal space. This isn't a Turning Point Australia thing. This is a Joel Jamal thing. This is purely me. I want to have my own space where I can have a studio set, where I can have a war room, where I train people up for elections, where I plan how we're going to stop them coming after our, our rights when the establishment wants to censor us. We don't yet have that. We don't. I'm operating out of homes. My volunteers are operating out of homes. And there's a lot of good people in this country, as we saw in the referendum, 60 to 70 percent, but they just lack the leadership. They don't have the people to get behind, the plan to get behind, the, the, the space to muster the troops in. I can do that. I can do that. I've only ever asked for the tools I need to have success and to give us all the success that we can all enjoy. And that's what I'm asking for on this. I, um, I, I enjoyed my, um, my use of Give, Send, Go last time to fundraise. It's an alternative to um, uh, the GoFundMe uh, website. It's a freedom organization from the USA. Um, I've created a link and I've put it in my description for this studio and office space. If you can donate, please, thank you so much. If you can't, just give this a share to someone that you think might be able to donate or to your wider social media. I really, 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 really wanna do this before the end of the year. I wanna get this all set up before 2024 starts. Remember, COVID in 2020, it all started in 2019, but no one knew about it. And by February, by the time February and March hit, we were in under lockdowns. I'm worried about 2024. I do not want to be reactive ever again. I want us to be proactive. I want us to lay down the assault plans, the, the tactics, the teams, assembling, you know, um, strategies, getting all of this stuff together, having a maps room of all the electorates and, and planning which candidates we want to support and which ones we don't, which ones we want to get out of parliament. That's my dream. I really want to do that. And I, I, I have only ever asked for the, the tools I need to, to do the things that I need. I'm efficient with money. In the federal election last year, I only needed $5,000 and that's what I spent. In Victoria, I only needed $4,000 and that's what I spent. In the New South Wales election, I only needed $6,600. $6, that's all I needed and that's, that's how we got John Ruddick elected. I'm very efficient with money. I'm like the, uh, the very shrewd Indian store owner for the convenience store. He knows where every dollar goes compared to Coles, which has a lot of wastage. And I wanted, I want to bring this to politics. I wanted to do it on an industrial scale. And in order to do that, I need this studio space. I really need to, um, to move forward in a way that is going to be building a team, training young people to have the social media posting ability to go work with politicians, to go work with organizations. I want to start sponsoring young people to do that and be ambassadors. Um, I want team leaders in all the states, but in order to do this, I need a space. I really do. I can't be doing this out of homes. So if you can donate, please, you know, I'd greatly appreciate it. Um, and if you can't, that's okay. Give this a share to someone that you know. These are my plans for next year. I have many other things coming down the pipeline, but this particular thing, if we're going to land these punches, I really need it. I'm, I'm asking for a job. It's very weird. <laughs> it's very weird but I'm asking for a job. This isn't for me, this, this money is for expenses, it's for rent, it's for um, making sure we have the equipment to do this. I'd, I really thank you guys for your support in the past and I'm, I'm asking for it again, but we're gonna get many, many wins for every state and territory through this um, equipment, this tool, the, this space, and um, I thank you guys for your support. I'll see you later, enjoy your Sunday, God bless you all, and have a good one.